Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and uh, today we're going to be uh, reviewing the TNH Outdoors self-inflating sleeping pad. Uh, I've been looking for a sleeping pad that was self-inflating and easy to use, uh, kind of like a beginner sleeping pad that was lightweight and easy to pack, and I think I might have found it. So if you want to see more, stay tuned. All right, so you can see I'm inside my tent. It's, uh, I think it's negative 11 out right now. Uh, so that's why I'm all bundled up. My hands are starting to get a little cold, but uh, this sleeping pad, normally when I'm in a cold weather uh, sleeping environment, I have my X-Therm sleeping pad uh, with a 5.9 R value. This one only has a four. Uh, but the difference is, is that that X-Therm, it uh, reflects a lot of your heat back at you. It's got a uh, mylar type material, and so it reflects your body heat back at you. So when you get inside of it, uh, you can feel that warmth. You feel warm because it's radiating your heat back at you. Where this one, it just seals you off. Like right now, like it does, I can't feel the warmth like I can with my uh, X-Therm, but I'm not cold either. It's keeping me up off the ground. It's comfortable. It fits me very well. Uh, it's, it's a really good sleeping pad. It's just, it's gonna be a barrier between the cold ground and you. It's not gonna radiate the heat like the X-Therm, but the X-Therm is over $200 or around $200, where this is only 50. And so I think you get a lot more bang for your buck. Uh, another thing with the X-Therm is it's not self-inflating. You have to blow into it. Well, the condensation of your breath uh, can freeze inside that sleeping pad. That will make it a lot colder. Where this is self-inflating, you just open the valve and it inflates itself. And so that's another good feature about this, especially in these cold, uh, cold temperatures. One of the other things that I like about it is I have another self-inflating sleeping pad, but it's so big. It's about it's the same size as like your standard roll-up foam mat, foam mat when it's all rolled up together. Well, this one gets very small and compact. Uh, it doesn't get as small and compact as the X-Therm, but it will fit in a pack and it doesn't take up a lot of room. And so that's another feature that I really like about this sleeping pad and uh, it's comfortable as well. Uh, I've slept in this. Uh, you saw me, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you saw me sleep in this uh, when it was negative 22 degrees. The temperature dropped to negative 22 degrees and I was very warm with this sleeping pad. Uh, another feature is when I'm using my X-Therm, I can put it inside of my sleeping bag and then uh, it's just underneath me. Where this does fit inside my sleeping bag, but it's a lot wider than my X-Therm from edge to edge this way. And so it makes it tight. And when I am lay on my side, I'm a side sleeper, I can feel how tight my sleeping bag is on my shoulder. And I worry about it compressing the down and uh, not giving me proper insulation so it'll I'll get a cold shoulder, same like if you're in a hammock and it compresses your down when you're smushed up against your hammock. I kind of felt like that was what was gonna happen. And so I don't put this inside of my sleeping bag uh, like I do with my X-Therm. But it did a really good job at letting my sleeping bag do what it needed to do. Uh, it did a really good job of keeping me insulated from the frozen ground. Uh, it was comfortable, I slept really well. Uh, another thing is it's been out here all week in negative degree temperatures. I've kept it out here. My tent's been set up for a little over a week now. And uh, every once in a while I'd come out here and I'd open the valve and it would reinflate, you know, because that cold, it, it doesn't stay, you know, your body heat, heat set up and then you, it gets cold. And so every, every so often I'd come out here and I'd open the valve and it would reinflate and it's just as comfortable right now as it was 
when it came from my warm house. So I think it's a really great sleeping pad. I really do like it. Uh, I like that it's self-inflating. I like that it packs down uh, to a lot smaller package than my other self-inflating sleeping pad. And uh, I like that I don't have to blow into it and get the moisture and condensation from my breath uh, into the sleeping pad. And so yeah, this might this might replace my X-Therm on some trips. Not, not all trips, I still like the X-Therm. I think the X-Therm is a, it's thicker, and it's a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I can dial in how firm or soft I want the X-Therm. Uh, I like, sometimes I like that, how it reflects the warmth back at me. But again, that's a $200 sleeping pad. Uh, this one I think is 50. And so you're saving a lot of money and you're still getting a lot of really good features with this sleeping pad. So if you're just starting out or you're looking for something simple that you can still pack up and uh, take with you on trips, I think this is a very, very good option. And uh, yeah, another, another idea I had is on them extreme cold nights where it's like negative 40 and the wind is just whipping. I could put this underneath my sleeping pad and then put my X-Therm inside my sleeping pad and I bet you I would be toasty, toasty warm even on those extreme cold nights here in Minnesota. And so I'm really happy I bought this. I'm really happy that uh, I set it up and I tried it in the winter months. Even though it does only have an R value of four, it still kept me warm. It still allowed the sleeping bag to do its job and I'm very, very happy with it. So with that being said, make sure to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. I wanna know what sleeping pads you use and uh, what makes them so good. I'm always in the market for good sleeping. I feel that when you get a good night's sleep in the woods, everything else goes good. Uh, when you're tired and droggy and everything, it seems like you, can, you don't enjoy yourself as much as you do when you have a really good night's sleep in the woods. And so I really try to focus on that. So if you have any knowledge or any questions on sleeping gear or sleeping bags or sleeping pads, make sure to leave that in the comment section below. Then make sure to like and share this video to help spread that knowledge and those ideas to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.